everyone welcome back on my channel i am ashwini today we'll see one new task in power bi for adding the conditional formatting using unicar code in power bi okay so it is very important task for real time projects so mostly clients wants to see the uh, if if we have the data for sales then if uh, we have one threshold limit for uh, that particular month we have the plan for that uh, sales so if we are crossing that sales or we are just do uh, we are we are just going back from that plan so if in this case clients wants to show these things by using the up and down arrows in green and red colors okay so we can just see how to create it in power bi okay so let's see the data first so this is the data we are using for this use case we have the date and their sales okay so so in this way we can create okay i will show you how to create this okay so i just need to take one table visual from here just i just need to add the date and sales column here from here we just need to click on the date we just don't want to see the hierarchy we want whole date okay and then we can take the sales okay so from here we can just rename this column okay so this is the date and this is their sales okay so in this we just want to see the up and down arrows for the con the condition is like wherever the sales is more than 300 that that arrow will show in the upward direction and in green color okay and the wherever the sales is less than 300 that arrow will go downward and sh show it in red color okay understood so we'll see how to create the measure for the arrows okay so we just need to create the conditional formatting so we have the two conditions okay so we just need to create that two conditions for which condition which arrow we have to show that we need to write it in the measure okay so i will just show you the measure it will explain you okay so this is the measures for the conditions okay so in we can use the switch function or we can use this if else okay there are two ways but i'm currently using the switch function okay so in switch we just need to write the true for giving the boolean uh, to all false values okay so here i am writing the sum of cells okay so we just need to do the aggregation for that particular column so this particular column we are aggregating here so i am writing the sum of cells column from cells table if this cells is greater than 300 then give me this unicar code meaning the upward arrow up the upward arrow so this unicar code is for the upward arrow then if we have the condition like this sum of cells if that cells is less than 300 then we just want to show the downward arrow okay so these two are the unicar codes for the upward and the downward arrow okay so we have written this measure after that we just need to add this in the table so we can just add these conditions in the table so now we got the upward and downward arrow and we our condition is true right so wherever we have the values more than 300 we are getting the upward arrow wherever the values are less than 300 we are getting the downward arrow okay so till this point we are correct okay so for adding the colors in the arrows what we have to do we'll show you now so here our second measure is like this so here also we just need to give the another condition for the colors okay so whatever column we have created so we have created this conditions measure so we just need to write the measure for that condition this color for that condition this color like that okay so here we are writing the if in our measure conditions equals to this unique r code is present then give me the one else if in conditions measure this unique r code is present then give us the zero okay so we are getting it in one and zero you can just write the color also color also in double quotes okay so you can just write red color in double quotes and here you can just write the any color whatever you want okay that will also work but now we are writing like this we just need to give the one and zero okay after that we can just add the conditional formatting for this column so you can just go from here also by clicking on the arrow we can just go in the conditional formatting and then we can just select the font color we just need to take the rules from the format style then we have to select that 
color conditions measure and here we need to write the if the value equals to one number then show us the green color okay then we just need to create new rule and then we have to write if value is equals to zero number then give us the red okay in this way we are written okay then just need to click on the okay we have the color for this particular arrows otherwise we can just select the table go here in this sale element we can just select that conditions measure and from here also we can view the conditional formatting color okay so we can just on the background color also whatever like this for the same measure we can just add the background color also so here we need to write the same condition one number then this okay so here what wherever there is the green color we are getting background color like this okay so from here also you can add the background color formatting and font color formatting and you can just give the formatting for icons also okay so in this way we can just create the conditions and uh, highlight that conditions by using the arrows okay so this is really so important use case in real time projects so in every corporate projects customer wants to see this okay so this type of conditional formatting and this highlighted colors red and green okay so this is like quickly it catches our eyes and uh, we can just understand by seeing that visual okay so they just don't want to see the numbers they just want to see the colorful and whatever they can catch quickly okay so in this way we can create this conditional formatting and you use these arrows also so this is all about this video we will see more tasks in my upcoming videos till that don't miss to subscribe and press the bell icon so that you can receive the notification of my upcoming videos and do like share and subscribe till that take care bye bye thank you for watching this video